Last time on Pacific Drive. Georgina, your ex-lover, who also happened to murder your sister, is in prison. And now he sends your parcel. He, he did it to me, OK? What happened last night? Oops. Since I was 10, he wanted Georgina put under pressure. I saw the weakness and I went for it. I didn't want to believe it. Hey, I was only trying to help you. If you know something, tell me. There was no love affair between your mother and Bill Garland. Look, he raped her. I think this discussion is over. You are overworked, and I think you're out of your depth. Unfortunately, you are too emotionally screwed up to realise it. It's OK. Don't scream. Makes two of us. I'm just glad your dad couldn't make it. Well, don't worry, Mum's enough to cope with. Oh, she's so excited about the wedding. Well, so am I. Cupcake. <laughs> you just keep playing the adoring bridegroom, honey, because I think this is probably her now. Obviously agrees with you. <laughs> this must be Tim. Hi, Jill. Nice to meet you. Yeah, sorry. Um, Tim, this is my mum, Jill. Oh, this is a surprise. Very pleasant one. I must admit, Zoe, when you you told us that uh, you were getting married, we were a bit reticent, but well, I mean, we'd never heard of this Tim fellow, but I'm delighted. <laughs> now, I want to know everything. We've got so much to talk about, so much to do. that it hasn't been a burden looking after Liza. Mental illness is never an easy thing to deal with. But that is what families are all about. You're saying you didn't molest her? Oh, that's attention grabbing. She's always telling stories. You see, she resents me because sometimes I have to be firm with her. Look, I should have told you. Look, look, you and I, we have enough to deal with. Hmm? Getting our relationship on track. Is that what you want? Yes. Yes, it is, son. I wish it had happened differently. I know I've handled it bad. Sonia's family wouldn't allow it. As soon as they found that she was pregnant, they cut me out of the equation. I'm not surprised. I know about the rape, Georgina told me. What rape? She remembered under hypnotherapy. She says you raped Sonia. That's oh. how I was conceived. So, liars is nonsense in this. No wonder you're hostile. That's not how it happened at all. So, how did it happen? Oh, 
I would be the first to admit that we were not a match made in heaven. But we were kids, your mother and I. Oh, it was never meant to last, but we loved each other. I would never have harmed her in any way. Her parents thought that I was not good enough for her. Right? And any memories that she has of that time would be tainted by the venom that her parents were spouting. Believe me, they were vicious about me. If I had raped her, don't you think the charges would have been laid? Luke, listen, I wish that we had had the chance to be close. Look, there's a, there's a lot required from both of us, but I need time too, you know. I want you to have this. This was my father's. I think it's only right. Have you been telling your brother stories? No. Don't lie to me, Liza. You know how angry it makes me. trouble is, sweetheart, hmm? Luke believes me, you see, not you. He thinks that you're a little, uh, touched, eh? And I'm the only one that touches you, aren't I, Daddy's little girl. Time to play our game, hmm? You want to make Daddy feel nice, don't you? Don't you, darling? sure about this? They're not budging, Georgie. It was beautiful while it lasted, but Kingsley's and skin works are no more. Well, there's no point crying over spilt milk, as it were. Georgina, spare me your platitudes and your pathetic little cliches. In this case, spilt milk is our biggest client. I don't need to be reminded of that. Fine. Fine. What are we going to do about it? We've got to make up the shortfall and faster. We'll never make it through this financial year. I'll find a new client. <laughs> it's a big job, Georgie. Multi-million dollar accounts don't grow on trees. I lost the account. I'll replace it. I was just trying to help. Well, if there's nothing else, I have a few phone calls to make. Well, what about Bethany? She'll need to be told. I suppose it would be best coming from me. Oh, well, I'd be happy to tell her. Oh, I'm sure that you would. But I would like the girl left with some vestige of self-confidence. Game set. Match. Soon. Oh, you'll get over this Bethany thing. And when Georgina's off there, I'll have you back in my bed. Just you wait and see. Place. Then we can have a nice cup of tea. We didn't come all this way to drink tea. I mean, there's shopping to be done and lunch to be eaten, weddings to be organised. Thank you, Tim. It's nice to see Shibbery isn't dead. I thought city boys had no manners. Well, it's the Canadian upbringing, man. <laughs> Just don't overdo it. <laughs> Tim, I am relying on you to help me convince my only daughter that a registry office is out of the question. Uh -huh. no, no, money is not an issue, right? You two are in love. Vince and I want to give you a day to remember. Church, bridesmaids, reception, the works. Oh, well, I'm not sure, Jill. I mean, you know how Zoe is when she gets an idea in her head. Oh, better start learning how to get around her. Hmm? Go on. I'm counting on you. I've been looking forward to this wedding for a long time. Handling it? Barely. She's really going overboard, isn't she? Oh, it's her dream, the whole wide affair. How am I going to tell her? It's the big lie. So don't tell her. Oh, are you kidding? The more she goes on about, the worse I feel. I'm not going into this marriage with a whole lot of lies hanging over my head, Tim. None. 
Oh, so, so. What do you think? <laughs> Mum, it's a bit grand. I was thinking along the line of something simple, a little soup. Tim, you are really going to have to talk this girl around. No way. I am completely out of my league on this one. Why don't you take off, eh? We can all get together for dinner tonight. Oh, if you really don't mind. Oh, so we've got some serious shopping to do today anyway. Look, it's been a real pleasure, Tim. I'm sure Vince will be just as happy to welcome you to the family as I am. Thanks, Jill. I, uh, I don't know what to say. I do will be quite enough. You'll be okay? Mm, be fine. Zo, so? Can you give it a rest for a while? Uh, take five, please. Hi. Hi. What's up? Uh, I, um... I, I just wanted to say that I'm sorry I accused you of tipping off the Americans. I know you love me. And um, I know you'd never do anything to hurt me. Beth, I'm so glad to hear you say that. I just um, found out that Kingsley's lost the skin work still because of me. But I'm, I'm okay. Who needs America when I have you? And a bottle of your best champagne. Oh, Mum. Oh, Zoe, this is my celebration, right? Just indulge me. I don't want any fuss. I just want this to be a low-key, simple wedding. Where is your sense of romance, girl? Why do I get the impression this has more to do with what you want than what I want? Alan, you know me too well. Yes, of course, it's always been a dream of mine that you'd marry somebody you love and respect and who loves you too. You should be proud. You should shout it to the world with a beautiful wedding. The trouble with this, Mum, is that it's not that sort of marriage. I'm marrying Tim as a favour, Mum, to keep him in the country. You mean one of those immigration things? Yeah, well, he overstayed his visa, so we thought this was the best option. Surely you must feel something for him. This is marriage, after all. Oh, I'm really fond of him. Well, he's a great friend, but nothing more. Well, why not? He's lovely. He's charming and attractive. Because... I'm a, um... I'm, I'm a lesbian. Else. What can I do for you? Um, I was wondering if you might like to have some lunch with me. No, thanks. I've already eaten. How about a coffee? Listen, I don't know what went on between you and my brother, and I don't really want to know. Oh, no, I'm sorry. I didn't you mean... You live your life, I'll live mine, and we'll both be a bit happier that way. You didn't eat very much. You surprised? Not every day my only daughter tells me she's a... Oh, Mum, I didn't mean to hurt you, really. I just couldn't go on letting you get carried away about the wedding. Oh, yes, the wedding. Marriage of convenience. No love, no children. Oh, don't tell me. I suppose Tim is gay. <laughs> no, Mum, is as straight as they come. Why, Zoe? I don't know. I don't know. You... Have you always liked girls? No, but I've never really liked men either. I just, just never happened. I tried, but just nothing happened. And then when I slept with a woman, I, 
It felt so right, so wonderful. Like you said it was going to be with a man, but it never was. Sometimes I wish I was normal. Life would be a hell of a lot easier. Realising who I am and coming out has been the hardest thing I've ever had to do. Are you with anyone at the moment? Do you mean do I have a girlfriend? No, I, no, I don't. Not right now. But you have. But what about Kelly? What does she think about all this? I was a bit horrified, I suppose. It's taken me a while to come to terms with it. Well, how did you come to terms with it? Oh, just time, love. Those are two things I've always had plenty of as far as Zoe's concerned. But this is just... I keep asking myself, what did I do? What did her father and I do to make her like this? I always knew she was a bit different and she wasn't like the other girls, but I couldn't put a name to it. But I just never expected this. Oh, God, what's Vince going to say, Kelly? Will you be back in time for the wedding? Oh, I don't think so. It's not as though it's a real wedding. I'm not sure of anything right now, Zoe. Yeah, I understand. Nice to meet you. I'll have to talk to your father. I have no idea how he's going to take this. So I saw some of the lights were on and thought I'd give it a try, on the off chance. Well, you're lucky you caught me. I'm not often here this late. Yeah, all right, that's a lie. I work back a lot. I wanted to apologise for today. I know you're curious about Adam and, well, so am I. He never mentioned you. We weren't that close. I went to see him in jail through, I don't know, a sense of duty, I suppose. It shocked me, Georgina. It... Seeing him locked up like an animal. I didn't know what to say to him. I want to know all about him, the last few years, what happened to drive him to murder. Will you tell me? That is, if it doesn't dredge up too many painful memories.
Did I wake you? <laughs> Ask me in five minutes when I'm awake. I'm glad you didn't wait up. Mm. What time is it? It's, um, it's after midnight. I got so engrossed here, I didn't realise how late it was. Well, will you be much longer? I made dinner. Oh, thank you, sweetheart, but yeah. I am going to be a bit longer. I've still got so much stuff to get through. Listen, um, why don't you just um, go to sleep and, and I'll see you in the morning. Okay. Night. Mm, night. Do you always lie to your partner? Never. Come on. I know a great place we can get some supper. She's through here. Do you know what she's taking? I don't know. Nobody's saying anything. It's not working. She had a pulse, but nothing. Okay, thanks, Joel. Can you take over, Matt? No pulse. We'll have to intubate. We might need adrenaline. B10 to base. We've got a code 17, code 2 CPR's been performed. Over. Yeah, I'm gonna have to shock him. Alright, 200 joules. 360 joules. B10 to base. We've got a code 4. Over. Martini? Sounds good to me. Two, thanks. So, tell me. My brother. Well, you seem to have known him better than most. Sometimes I wonder if I really knew him at all. You said you'd help me to understand the true Adam. I lied. Nothing much rattles you, does it? Adam. All right. Adam was a hard-working lawyer. He liked black coffee, blue shirts and white lies. Oh, perhaps not quite so white. <laughs> and you never suspected? Given that you two worked together so closely for all that time. He was a lawyer. You know how they operate. Smoke and mirrors, they wrote the book. When we found out that he'd murdered Sonia, I mean... Naturally, we were devastated. Your brother wasn't quite what he seemed. <laughs> How's that for an understatement? Still waters. Oh, yeah. Look, um... I know that you weren't close. Do you love him? It's always difficult to love without respect. Yeah, it is. Thank you. <laughs> Admit it. You love this. It's not working. Mm, that's not what Mr. Happy says. Mr. Happy is off limits. Mr. Happy is not in the mood. In fact, Mr. Happy has left the building. Come on, Trey, give me a break. Can I start with your neck? Huff and puff all you like. You want me. You always want me. It's over. Besides, I'm getting choosy in my old age. I don't waste Mr. Happy on just anybody. Shame about the lace, though. Maybe we should have a tea party. Trey, you come back here. Trey, we have a deal. Oh, that's right. You lied, cheat, and manipulate, and I get turned on. Sounds reasonable to me. Oh, so I manoeuvred Bethany off the Skimworks project. I did it for all of us. She was a liability. No, Amber. You did it because she got her hands on Joel and you didn't yeah. like it. You did it because you are a spoiled, vindictive, nasty piece of work. We could have lost millions in the damages claim. And look what's happened instead. We've lost even more in an ongoing business. We had a license to print money. And what did you do? You tore it up and you threw it away. No, that is not fair. Fair. As if what you did to Bethany was fair. Bethany! And as for this uh, horny housewife routine, why don't you try it on someone who cares if this is about sex? I'll make my own arrangements to thank you very much. Meet a better class of person that way. You're a busy woman. I appreciate your time. Mm, the pleasure's all mine. It's good to talk. Yeah, I know what you mean. Mm. You're supposed to understand your family. <laughs> but um, with Adam, like I said, still waters. I wouldn't judge him too harshly. Um, despite what he did, there's still someone inside worth redeeming. 
Can you believe that? I think we all have our demons. It's just that some of us handle it better than others. He's still a human being. And there's this. I mean, without Adam, we would never have met. Please, this is important. What? I've just had a call from a friend of mine. He's, he's a journalist at the Star, a, a police roundsman. Oh, sorry. He's just had a report of an ecstasy death in a nightclub. A young girl. It was Liza. I'm so sorry. It wasn't a mistake. Liza wouldn't touch drugs. Her father's been down the morgue. He's identified. She wouldn't touch drugs. Look, they don't know if she popped one or several. They don't even know if it was an accident or delivery. She wouldn't kill herself? She was pretty mixed up. No. No way I know Liza. No, you don't. Luke, I know you're upset, but you hardly knew her. You, you didn't know what she was capable of. Where are you going? To get the truth. Luke, please, just let the police deal with this. If this in some way was deliberate, I want to know why. Joel? Oh, you look terrible. Yeah, well, spending all night shooting the breeze with the cops can do that to you. But why? I mean, what did that poor girl have to do with you? I'm the proprietor. I let her in. She was underage, so it's my responsibility. Yeah, but they can hardly blame you. Did I know the girl? Had I seen her before? Did I know she was on drugs? Where could she got the drugs from? Who could have supplied her with the drugs? I tell you, in the end, I just felt like admitting that I'd killed her myself to get it over with. Who was she? That, that's what I couldn't figure out. I mean, what's another junkie to them? It happens every night. But apparently, her father's some kind of political hotshot. So they have to get a quick result. One way or the other. But anyway, who cares about being grilled by the cops for hours? We've got a, even bigger problems than that, right? Can't you see what this is going to do to us? New business, new clientele. We need that kind of PR like we need a hole in the head. Just here to share my grief. After the things Liza told me, I thought we'd cleared that up. This is not the time. I think it is. What happened last night? Nothing. What happened before she left? I her? said nothing. Something must have made her take the stuff. What? What, what time capsule did you crawl out of? Eh? You know these clubs. You're saying that these kids that took this filth were all molested by their parents, are you? You're, is that what you're insinuating? You're, you're trying to 
revive this molestation rubbish. Eh? Go on, you tell the world. Go on, you do it. I don't care, but what have I got now? Nothing. My baby's gone. I loved him more than you would ever know. Hi. Georgina, hi. Look, I just wanted to thank you for last night. I thought I'd find you around here. Shouldn't I be the one thanking you? I mean, we didn't get off to the best of starts. You're the one who gave me the second chance. Ah, uh, let's say we forget first impressions. I'll buy that. So, can I get you something? A cup of coffee, maybe? Oh, um, no, thanks. I uh, have to get back to work, actually. Right. Okay. It's a good story. Yes, but not for broadcast, at least not yet. We're talking about Bill Garland's daughter. I don't care if it's the Pope's nanny. The man deserves some respect to grieve in peace. Surely the death of a politician's child is a great way to draw attention to this growing problem. I mean, it's topical. I think this story deserves everyone's attention. And I said no. You're not about to launch into a moral crusade at Bill Garland's expense. Because why exactly? I told you why. Because he's a mate. Because he's a hard-working, highly respected member of parliament who serves the community. You actually believe the press kit. You have absolutely no idea who this man is. Bill Garland is not the man you think he is. Liza lived in a world that I didn't understand. I couldn't. If you want to blame me, that's fine. If you, I was her father. I should have done more to help her fight whatever it was that caused her to do it. I failed. But I'm the one that has to live with that, not you. She said you were a monster. Ah. Isn't everyone to a person in that paranoid condition, even you? I wanted to be a friend. Ah. Have you ever stopped to consider the cost of your friendship? You stumbled into her life and gave credence to her delusions. No wonder she turned to drugs. That's not true. Oh, I'm sorry. Now, that was a bit unfair, wasn't it? But what about any of this is fair? I've lost my only daughter. And You've intruded on my grief. I think it's only appropriate that you now make yourself scarce. In fact, I don't even want to see you again. All right, Georgina, you have my attention. Now, what is this deep, dark secret you have about Bill Garland? You're not going to like it. The hypnotherapy I had recently, it unlocked a repressed memory. About Bill? Let me guess. He was Napoleon in a previous life. I remembered I was about nine. Sonia was 15. I couldn't find her, so I went looking for her. I could hear her shrieking. I thought she was laughing. I found her in a bedroom. So? Bill Garland had her pinned to the bed. She wasn't laughing. She was terrified. I watched for a little while, and then I ran away. Did you tell anyone? I was only nine years old. I didn't know what was happening at the time. All I knew was that he was hurting her, and it, it looked dirty. Now I know that he was raping her. I have known that man for over 10 years. Do you expect me to believe this is ridiculous? Is it? Trey, think about Sonia. What was she like around him? Did you ever have him over? She didn't like him. 
What, this great politician, this media darling? Man she had a child to? She always made excuses to stay away. Now do you understand? It was probably the same with his daughter. Maybe she saw the real Bill Garland too, and that's why she's dead. What exactly are you suggesting here? You can come to your own conclusion. But your great friend is no saint. Big deal. She loved Adam. Of course, she's going to be curious about his brother. She lied to me. Well, maybe she just figures she's protecting you. Or herself. You don't lie unless there's something to hide. Why don't you just ask her? At least give her a chance to explain before you go jumping to these wild conclusions. What do you know about this guy? Garth? Well, I met him once, but he seemed pretty straight up front. I liked him. And he's Adam's brother. Come on, it's the only reason Georgina's interested. It's the only reason. Adam took her dignity, her heart, her soul. She wouldn't be human if she didn't want to understand why. And what if it's more than that? Well, then I guess you've got a problem. Oh, dear, what sent us running for the bottle this time? I'm not in the mood. You have that settled in for the session look. What's this? Research. <laughs> Press memory. Oh, I get it. You are like you are because the au pair abused you. I said I could do without it. Listen, do you, uh, do you believe in this repressed memory stuff? I don't know. Well, maybe I should. I don't remember having a childhood. Oh, get over it. You are just a spoiled brat who was inconvenienced by a self-centred mother. I'm, uh, thinking of forgetting major traumas. Oh, so what's a major trauma? Georgina was hypnotised into remembering who Luke's real father is. Well, I have been kept out of the loop. Do tell. It seems that she repressed a memory of seeing Sonia with a man. Who? It doesn't matter who. What does matter is that he was raping her. This mongrel raped Sonia when she was only 15 years old. That's how Luke was conceived? Mm-hmm. Does he know? I don't know. But it's only a matter of time. Who is it? Oh, don't be so damn coy. Bill Garland. The Bill Garland? Yeah. Bill Garland raped mother and got away with it? Yes. That is if I believe Georgina, which... I think I do. It answers too many questions. So what are you going to do about it? It happened over 20 years ago. Part of me says just to forget it. The other part? Martin, why is it so dark in here? Nice place to hide. Keep a few secrets. Hey, what's happened? Funny. That was my question. Have you been drinking? No, Your Honour. Alcohol would not help. Where were you last night? And you can save the hours working back late routine. I don't buy it. The guy that delivered the parcel, Adam's brother. I was with him. He has a name? Garth. And you like this Garth? I'm sorry, I should have told you the truth. But I didn't think it was that important. I didn't want to make a big deal out of it. You haven't answered my question. Seems to me like you must like him a whole lot. You saw him again today. 